Hello everyone, my name is Crystal. Thanks so much for clicking on this video. Today I wanted to share with you a couple of things that I got for Christmas. This is definitely not like a bragging video, like look at what I got for Christmas, not like that at all. I just thought there was one item in particular that I was looking for reviews and I thought perhaps you would want to see uh, reviews on that as well, like in a video form, because I couldn't find it in on YouTube at all anywhere. So I was just really excited to see that I got one now, thanks to my husband, because I was looking for it forever. Um, and then he ended up surprising with me on Christmas Eve. That's when we opened presents. But the first things I wanted to share with you are just some items I got from my in-laws. My in-laws are really amazing in getting us things that we want or need. We usually try to get things that we really need. And so that's what we, we tell them what we want. We give our mother-in-law, my mother-in-law, my husband's mom, we give her a wish list of our wants and then she kind of just gets us what we want and that kind of works out great. I usually ask for like shoes because I always need a new pair of white vans like every year. Like they just get so dirty throughout the year and I wear them a lot to school. But this year I didn't ask for vans. This year I asked for a planner for 2024. I'm currently living in my 2023 Erin Condren monthly planner and I really do like it. It has been very successful for me I guess this year like I really do find it very functional I have previously been using filofaxes in the past I do currently have a mini filofax a personal filofax and an a5 I do prefer the a5 because you just have more space but I always felt like with filofaxes I was always constantly having to um either add paper or I just didn't have enough space in my little boxes so I was tending to use a separate journal or a separate book or something so I prefer the Erin Condren because it's bigger space to write in so I did ask for an Erin Condren for this year and so this is the one I asked for it is another Hello Kitty one Erin Condren does have a Hello Kitty line my current Erin Condren for 2023 is a Hello Kitty line and I do get my planners for January to December that's just how I plan I know you could do like an academic planner and do like the academic year or however you want, but I just prefer January to December. So I'm excited to move into this one because the other one is done. I do decorate my planners. I do have to, I set time in my week to work in my planner. My other planner is currently in the living room because I was working on it earlier. I know it's pretty much like done in December, but there's just some stuff I wanted to plug in that you were doing or whatever we're, you know, it's coming up. But um, this one's really cute. It has all of the Sanrio characters. And their dashboards are really fun because you can remove them and the front and back match. So my planner from last year, this is the cover that it came with. I do have it saved so I could easily like put this one on this one if I want to. I put some stickers on it. But this is last year's um, one that I purchased this year. It's this one. She did get my name printed on it here. And then... Um, we have all the characters here. I love how we have Pom Pom Perrin. He's like one of my favorites, my Melody. And this is just a monthly planner. I've learned that I don't need like a lot of the um, sections. I prefer just the monthly monthly planner itself. I don't really do a lifestyle. It's just too many sections that I will not keep up with. Um, the boxes though are what I really like because they're big and I have a lot of space and I can write a lot of things. And then I like this part here too because I can put like what things I have to do, to-do list here or... um packages I have coming that way I can make sure that it gets here if I get like overwhelmed the one thing I said I don't know if I said this but these do come off so you can trade them in and out I currently have a Christmas one a Christmas Hello Kitty one on my planner currently but this was the my big present from my in-laws for Christmas so I was really excited to get this it did come with some stickers and the Erin Condren planners do usually have some stickers in the back. I don't know if this one does. Let's see. Yeah, it does. It has these little stickers in the back. I always forget to use those. And then I like how they have pockets. This one has a pocket here. So I carry po uh, extra stickers here for whatever I might need. I also did ask her for pens. And so this right now currently is my favorite pen. So if you are into pens, like I am, I'm a teacher. I do teach third grade. If you don't know that about me, I teach third grade. And um, this current pen, I got one from somebody. It was a .5. I think these are, oh yeah, this is 0.5. So this is a 0.5. Um, oh my gosh, it's amazing. And it's so, it just writes amazingly well. It is not erasable, which is a sad part because erasable pens are like amazing. I love them. My students always freak out when I erase my pen on when I'm doing stuff under the camera. But this current Sharpie S gel is like my current favorite pen. So I got that from her as well as some stickers because I did ask for stickers for my students because I use these as a reward system in my classroom. So if they're doing well, I have a trolley cart for like my main prizes. 
um, which are like uh, bigger prizes. But then I have a pocket chart with stickers on it that they can come get from my desk if I tell them to come over. It's like behind my desk, but it's on a, a metal cabinet like with hooks. And when whether they score like masters on a test or meet, like they meet expectations for the teak of that test, then they can get a sticker or for behavior, they can get a sticker. So I was running out of stickers and I so I needed some. So I did ask for that. So I asked for the planner stickers for my students and pens. So these are the stickers she got me. So there's a bunch of Sanrio ones in here, which my girls are obsessed with Sanrio. Like, I don't know if it's because I rub off on them or what, because they love everything I love. Like if I love Sanrio, they love Sanrio. If I love Disney, they love Disney. So all my girls currently are obsessed with Sanrio. They're getting, they all have like cinema roll, um, lanyards, um, pom 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 lanyards. They have My Melody everything. So I did get a bunch of Sanrio stickers. I didn't tell, I don't know if I told her Sanrio. I just told her cute stickers for kids. And then the other stack is Disney, so I got these. And they're from, like, Amazon. They're, like, those water bottle stickers. Um, but, yeah, I just really needed some for my class. So these are going to go to my students. They said that they already looked through them because I don't know if you know this. Like, with those stickers, you might find some interesting ones in there. But, yeah, these are super cute and, like, such an easy reward system for kids. They love stickers. I do let them put them on their composition notebooks. And so some of them are, like, super crowded. Um, we do have a tracking folder, so I might let them put them on there. I don't know yet. We'll see. But I got a bunch of stickers. I don't know if I'm going to keep any of these because, like, I want to give them to them. But there's so – oh, my gosh, I didn't even know. We even have – what's her name? Agret, Agretsuko, I think her name is. Agretsuko. She's so cute. Look at those little cinema roll one. They're so cute. I haven't even gone through all of them yet because they were just in the box that she gave me for Christmas. But anywho – Anywho, I got all these stickers, so they're super cute, and I'm so excited to use them in my classroom. So that was for my in-laws, and then for Secret Santa, my sister picked me. Uh, we do Secret Santa with my immediate family, like my inner family, like all my brothers and sisters. I am the eldest of all my siblings, but there's a lot of us, and then some of them have kids who are my nieces and nephews. I don't have any children, so what I wanted to do is I still bought gifts for all my nieces and nephews or like made little goodie bags for all of my nieces and nephews. And then I just got the gift that I picked out of my siblings. So my little sister picked me. And then I actually picked my mom because they were in that Secret Santa as well. So anywho, my little sister picked me and she got me the skirt that I wanted. So she got me the Peter Pan skirt from Stitch Shop by Loungefly, which I think sadly might be sold out now. It was on sale recently and I had wanted it, but I didn't buy it. But it is the Peter Pan skirt from Stitch Shop by Loungefly. So this is what it looks like. It's so cute. It looks like a painting. I love it so much. Now, I have, a, like, a huge collection of Stitch Shop by Loungefly skirts. Of course, there's always more that I want. And with Stitch Shop by Loungefly, you do get a pin. So I got to go put this on my uh, pin backpack. But it is Peter Pan and Captain Hook's ship right there. It's so cute. And I love Peter Pan. That's, like... My favorite, I am Crystal Neverland. <laughs> That's like my favorite, um, one of my favorite movies. Um, so yes, I'm so excited to have this skirt in my collection before it's sold out. So thank you, sister. I love it. And then she also got me, these skirts also have pockets if you don't know that. These are the sand, they're called the Sandy skirt. And it should have pockets, I'm pretty sure. Yes, it does right there. There's a pocket. So yeah, that's another reason why I like these skirts because they have pockets. And they do stretch a little bit in the back. I'm not going to try this one on now because I'm pretty sure there's a video of me trying these skirts on already. Um, this is a 1X, I believe, because I do tend to wear my skirts up here. And then I got from her a small shop purse, which is super cute. But the small shop also came gave her this to give. I don't know if she bought this or the girl gave it to her. I'm not sure. But the girl also made this, which is like a little koozie. And it's like a little Mickey head on a koozie with fringe there. Super cute. But the girl that she got this from, she found her on Instagram. And this is the bag that she got for me from the small shop. I don't think she has like an actual shop, like a Shopify or anything. Um, she said she ordered it through uh, Instagram. So this is what it looks like. It's so cute. She was saying, even if I don't use it, it's like cute to put like on display, which it's so, it totally is. It's super cute. It opens up right here. And I think the girl like hand makes them, which is crazy. Um, there is stuffing inside. I don't know about there. And so that's what it looks like. So I think she like hand 
crochets it and then like it's a purse isn't that wild it's so cute it, it does remind me of the sterling clover like the pink sherpa one but the bow is so adorable i just love it it's so cute and then for like valentine's day i do think i'm definitely going to use it for um that it is very heavy so i don't know if you can tell like it's really heavy like it moves like that it is a removable chain though which is cool in case this one is too short for me i know like it fits fine like this Ta -da! but i think crossbody i don't know if it's a little short yeah so it'd be a little short so i could change it but i mean it still looks cute so that's the little purse that she got me i love it it's so cute and so unique like that's so cool i love things that are handmade i just like love that so much i have like handmade another handmade purse that one of my students mom made me it's like harry potter and disney like mashup and then she also made me um a cardigan of hogwarts which is so cool so i love things that people make for you in mind or get things made for you and that's really cool and really special so this was from my sister as the person that picked me and then the other items are from my husband so one thing he put in my stocking which are more pens he got me the 0.7 the 0.7 in the sharpie s gel pen so now i am fully stocked up with these pens to last me through 2024 i can't wait to use them and open them i'm so excited because i was really like sad because i only have one and it's running out but he did get me the mug that I was showing him multiple times at Disney World when we went in November. So I felt, I first saw this um, at World of Disney and then I saw it again at the park and I was like, oh, I want it, but I don't want to, I just don't like carrying mugs home sometimes because they're breakable and it's scary. But I love the Three Caballeros. It's one of my favorite um, rides and songs and places to go see at Epcot. So we have the Three Caballeros there. I wish we would see them more often. I know in California, I feel like you see them more often than you do in Disney World in Florida. And the back, it does say the Three Caballeros. Walt Disney's the musical, miracle musical feature, the Three Caballeros featuring Panchito, Jose, Carioca, and Donald Duck. So cute. And then the bottom there. It's like a tiny little handle. And it's so ironic because I almost, I have a shop Disney haul that I just uploaded today, but um, I almost was going to, well, no, I was going to get this, but it was sold out. So I didn't get it. And ironically, he had already gotten for me, like right when we came back from Disney, he, apparently he did this order. So I was super surprised to see this under the tree for me because I was like, you have the mug I wanted. Like, it was so cool. So yes, he got me the Three Caballeros mug. And then he also got me this shirt because he said that he had to get free shipping and he only needed to spend a few more dollars. So he got me this Hocus Pocus shirt. He, even though it's out of season, I love October. My birthday is in October and I love Hocus Pocus. So I thought it would be really fun to wear it next October, next fall. But I, it says the Sandra, what does it say? The Sisters 3? The Sisters 3. Yes. Is that embroidered? Yes, it is embroidered. So he got me this Sanderson shirt, Sanderson Sisters t-shirt, which is actually really cute. It's kind of like crop. I did try it on earlier. It's kind of like cropped a little bit, but not too much, but it's really cute. So yeah, he got me this shirt. And then the main thing he got me, I'll show you in a minute because it goes with this thing that he got me. He got me this also from shop. So that was from shop Disney. The mug was from shop Disney. And then this corksicle is from shop Disney. So this corksicle, I had shown it to him saying that I wanted it, but I really wanted it if I got the bag, which he did get me the corksicle bag. But first, before we get into that, let's look at the corksicle sport canteen. This is a 20 ounce one and they do hold hot and cold items. I don't know if you can tell in the picture, but it, or the video, but it's like opal kind of, and it kind of glitters. Like there's glitter in the white. I don't know if you can tell. But it is Beauty and the Beast and it is Corksicle. I looked all over Disney when we were in Disney for this Corksicle canteen as well as the bag. And I didn't find either. So it's like he got everything that I was planning on getting when we were in Disney. Like he got that for me for Christmas, which was really cool. Like he listened so well and I do appreciate it. And I'm very grateful for him. But we have all of the little characters there. Um, more like antique looking. We have the house. The rose, and then we have the beast's mask. Do we have Belle on here, or is it just like symbol? Oh, there we go. There's Belle right there, and the beast, like dance. Can you see them right there? It's super cute, though. This is like one of the most 
prettiest looking water bottles I've ever seen. It's so pretty and I can't wait to wash it and use it and then use it in my new corkscrew bag which is here. So this is the corkscrew holographic. I think it's called something else though. Corkscrew sling uh, prismatic I believe it's called. So it is a Disney corkscrew sling. I looked everywhere for this in Disney and I couldn't find it. And then it sold out on the Corkscrew website. So I was surprised to see it in my gift box from him because I even said, where did you get it? Because it's sold out everywhere. He said he got it on walmart.com. So apparently Walmart had it in stock as well. I didn't know that, but he said he just looked up Corkscrew Prismatic Holographic and then there it was. So here is the Corkscrew logo. It does say corksicle all over the strap. I did see reviews that the strap was really short. So that was like my main thing. I tried looking reviews, looking for reviews on it online. And I couldn't really find any of people like putting it against them that were more like my size. So I was like, oh, I hope it's not too short. But it does stretch a lot. So that's it fully extended. And so this is what it looks like on me. So yeah, it looks good. It does stretch a lot. So I did see re people saying I wish the strap was longer. So that's how far it goes on me. Right there. I think that's good. So I would probably wear it a little bit shorter because I think that's too long. So then I would make it a little bit shorter. And it does hold any, what does it say? It holds any, of course, corksicles, but I know I have it. Oh, I threw it away already. It had a little insert insert that says it holds any canteen that's 20 ounces. It doesn't have to be corksicle. Um, the exterior spot clean, the interior wipe clean, prismatic sling, premium textile limited warranty, see corksicle. But yeah, I did say that it holds 20, I think maybe 40. I don't know because it does extend. So if you see right here, we have a little extender and your corksicle 20 ounce canteen here fits in there perfectly as you can see so this was what i wanted this was like the only thing i was going to buy when we went to disney i wanted this corksicle tumbler and then this holographic or prismatic sling bag because i thought that would be perfect for like when you go to a park and you don't want to take too much stuff but you want to take your water bottle i wish more companies made water bottle bags that were like really fun um and so yeah, this is what it looks like with the ears. They do definitely have it in black, I've seen that. But you could probably, I'll link it down below if it is available from Walmart. So that's what it looks like with um, it here on me. And then the best part is the back where you can put stuff inside. I already took out all the filling and recycled it. And, but we do have two zippers here. And this is what it looks like on the inside. The color is so pretty. I think it's the same color there, right? Yes. This color is so pretty. That's the same color on the inside that you put your actual corksicle inside. And then inside here we have the pocket where you can fit almost like anything. I think you could put everything you would need for the day, your phone for sure. So it's about like one and one and a half inches maybe, right? So like one, yeah, like about one and a half inch, I would say wide, but it's very um long in length. So you could fit like any size phone in there for sure. And then you could fit like a card holder, hand sanitizer, like everything you would need to take with you to a park. But I really thought it was cool too. So like if you're going for like a walk or a run, you could carry, I mean, I don't know about a run cause it might hit you a lot. I don't really run, I walk, but I like to walk. Um, but I just thought it was so neat, like to take to, even to school, like to work. I always take a water bottle, whether it's my Stanley or like another water bottle. I take something to drink every day to school um, cause I'm a teacher and I talk a lot. And this I thought would be fun too. So to take, if I don't want to take like another purse, I just love it so much. I love purses and I love drinking containers like water bottles and tumblers. So a purse that carries my water bottle, it's like a double win for me. And then it's holographic. Oh my gosh, I love it. It reminds me of the Shimmer Collection from Sony Clover Lane, which is my favorite collection of the year. But yeah, this was my favorite gift from my husband. I'm so appreciative and so grateful for him looking for it for me and getting it for getting it for me it's so cute and like I said it looks really good in person I love it so I can go take the tags off and I can go wash the corksicle so that I can use it but yeah that's what I got for Christmas this is my favorite thing I got definitely was this right here what was your favorite thing you got did you enjoy celebrating with your family or how you celebrated um I had a really great Christmas with mine overall we played some fun games 
definitely follow me on Instagram if you want to see stuff I do like that because I do post that stuff on my stories. But thanks so much for watching this video. Take care of yourself. I hope you have a great new year because I'm probably going to post this like, I guess on Saturday probably, which is going to be like the day before New Year's Eve. Um, yeah, so have a great new year, a great 2024. Have a safe New Year's Eve and take care of yourself. And I will talk to you soon. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.